I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Big Tower, Tiny Square. In this game, there's a big tower that you gotta climb. And you are, well, a tiny square. So, I actually first recorded this video, um, I was doing, I was just doing it as a background vi game for, um, I was talking about how I had to disable comments on my mystery videos, because I was just getting so many bad comments, oh my gosh. Um, but I've got a rule. In my videos, if I'm getting mad at a game, or in this case, just in general, uh, that's generally time to stop. I don't like... I don't like me when I'm angry. I don't like being angry. Um, I don't find my stuff when I'm angry very enjoyable. Maybe like a brief moment of like, oh, this is annoying, you know, this one level or something. But if I'm just genuinely mad at a game, I don't want to show it. So I thought it was unfair to this game to show it in that context, so I didn't actually end up using that video. I did a different video explaining the comment situation. Um, much more briefly and much, you know, just more matter-of-factly. Um, but this game is really cool. I actually um, went into it sort of blindly and I didn't really expect to like it a lot. Uh, it's, as you can see, it's a very Meat Boy-esque platformer. A lot of momentum. Um, a lot of, uh, later on you'll see it gets a lot more masochistic. But, um, I figured it deserved a proper shake, so instead, I'm here to show you the game in its own context. So, there's a pineapple. Obviously, you've got to save the pineapple, because somebody might put it on a pizza. And, uh... You're tiny square, and you gotta go up. Initially, I thought, like... Oh, what a silly gimmick, it's just gonna be really hard to follow the little square. Uh, and not, this is not really a problem, I've had too much. And the, the feeling of control is good. Um, it's very momentum based a lot like, you know, a lot like Meat Boy itself, of course. It's, it does not, it does not have any particular shame in hiding that. It's even got the buzz saws. The buzz saws even kind of look like Meat Boy. I, I'm not sure if that's intentional. I think they're just red to make them look dangerous. Red things kill you in this game. It's a very strong institutional bias against the color red in video games. Blue thing is good, red thing is bad. What about red things feelings? Yeah, there's a pretty good sense of movement in this game. I actually, especially early on, this this game does not make a mistake that most masochistic style platformers do. Um, it just they just hit you straight up like difficulty level 11 from the get go. This game really gives you some time to get into the mood and stuff. Um, I really found even with Super Meat Boy, uh, I mean Edmund McMillan's games have always been crazy hard. I've always liked his stuff. I have very rarely completed any of his games, which is kind of funny. I got the Platinum Trophy in Binding of Isaac, which I'm not sure I would really call his hardest game by any means. Um, I would say it's the longest, sure. There's the most stuff in it, but I wouldn't say that just getting to the end of that game is necessarily as difficult as uh, a lot of the other stuff, especially not considering the amount of total time. Like, oh man, what other kind of stuff does he have? Um, Carious Welting uh, 2, I believe it was. That game was insanely hard. I wanted to beat it because I love the world of that thing. Like, it's grim, weird. I need to do a video of that game sometime, but I'll, I'll get mad. Um, it's really hard. But this game doesn't have that problem. This game, um, it does get hard. You'll see. That's right, Parker. Um, but it just kind of lets you get used to all of the hazards, and it has a really good design sensibility about that. I, I like it. This game's on Steam. I always forget to say these things. Yes, 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 partner. Um, it's a link in the description. Um, a review copy of this was provided by the developer, I'm pretty sure. It's It's been a while. I've had this in my library for a while. That happens to a lot of games. It doesn't mean the game is bad, it just means I work a full-time job and I'm eternally busy, unfortunately. Hi, Parker. So, this, this, this is the first room, or... Yeah, I guess it's a room, floor, whatever, that has um, a pretty tricky segment here. We're getting, as you can see here, we're getting, we're starting to get there. But that big room in the middle, that's where we start getting a little bit rough. I was, I'm impressed how far I got. I, I, I beat the first before I did this video. I did the first, like, floor, which is straight up tutorial floor. That's all I did. But... But, um, I got, it took a lot longer for me to get kind of semi-stuck than I thought. 
a little teleport. It kind of actually reminds me a lot of, um... Ow, Parker. Um... The Achievement Unlocked kind of aesthetic. I wonder if that was an inspiration, because it really, come to think of it, it really does kind of look like that. Which I did, I did the full series of that. I, I should have done that much sooner. I, I, I'm a naughty boy and I need to get back to my Flash game roots. There's a bunch of Flash games that I need to go back and check out. I used to play this stuff for days, and um, I made for pretty good YouTubing too. I don't always make the best decisions. I'll admit that. I say as I die repeatedly into the same set of saws. The uh, fl Flash games are the one of the things I wish I got to a lot earlier. I mean, I'll still play them. I'm not one of those tiny people who's like, oh no, the time for X has passed. It's no longer a good game. Like, no. With a few exceptions of like games that actually shut down or like change in some way. Good game is still a good game. Legend of Zelda, um, Link to the Past. Old game. Still good game. Very good game. There's a few changes I wish could be made to it. Um, the randomizer actually makes some of said changes. Um, but yeah. Speaking of that, I'm really looking forward to the Link to the Past, um, remake. And it's so weird to see people dislike that, like... I think it looks really good. I like the, um, um, I like the kind of toy figure look to it. And it's, if you look at, if you look, there's comparisons of it. It's tile for tile perfect to the original game. It's really impressive. And honestly, it sounds petty, but one of the big things that made me really not like the Game Boy Zelda games, basically two items, Parker. Parker just, <laughs> thanks. I'm watching a video of it. I'm watching the uh, the original recording. Parker messed me up where I was. So thanks for that, Parker. All right, I think this is where I was. <laughs> this is very dangerous to have Parker on the desk when trying to do a video. But no, um, the Link's Awakening just the, the control issue with just basically you have the sword and one item and you have to constantly menu. That really bugged me. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but I, I just feel the cute, the square. It feels like such a small character should be hard to follow, and it's not. It really isn't for me. And I, I guess it's the minimalist aesthetic really helps a lot for that, because it's just so easy. I think it's because it's one of the only moving things, and it's the only moving uh, black thing, pretty much. He's also got just just a little bit of personality. I like the if you watch when he jumps off the wall, it like squishes, just a little bit. I love just kinetic stuff with animations like that. Parker, Parker's been destroying videos all day. He's he's a real he's trying to help. He's doing his best, but yeah. Also, the good music in this. I I forgot to mention that. It kind of gets it gets you in the mood, and it's not. Super intense. It kind of just keeps you in a zen. It's just intense enough, but it's just calm enough to not like be frantic and annoying to listen to. And I think music in a game like this is really important. It's kind of like a shoot 'em up, where I think if you have a shoot 'em up, you're kind of obligated to have good music because you really need to keep a zen. You really need to keep the right mindset about you. And if you start not feeling the game anymore in a shoot 'em up, you're gonna die and you're not gonna have any fun. And it's just gonna be blech. And I feel that these kind of massacre platformers, which I don't usually like anyway, but I, as soon as I feel out of it, I just stop and I don't usually go back. This is not usually my type of thing, but I did enjoy it for what it was, and I think if you do enjoy that kind of thing, you'd probably enjoy it even more than me, because, you know, yeah. I don't tend to do videos. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, I don't usually do videos of games I don't think I'll like. But, um, I did have a quick peek at this, and it seemed alright. And it was! I'm not sure how much longer it is than I ended up playing. It doesn't seem crazy insane long like, um, Super Meat Boy is a pretty big game. Uh, I don't think it's quite that big, but, um... Heck, how much is this? Let me, let me pop this boy up on, on uh, the old Steam. Um... one dollar that's what I thought yeah so for the amount of stuff offered I would say I would say it's worth a buck yes 
definitely easily. So that is tiny tower, big square. Actually, let me get to the end of this room, which I assume is coming up here. Big fan. Park, 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 park. I never understood that thing in a cat's brain is like, oh, I have been set down on the floor 50 times today. This time, I will be allowed onto the table zone. Table zone is the final boss as a cat. If you're in table zone, that's no, it's more like King of the Hill. You got to be, ad you get additional points every moment you're in the table zone. Parker is very good at that game. Anyway, this is tiny tower, big square. I mean, big big square, tiny tower. Wait, no, I said the same. I, I said the same thing. <laughs> this is tiny square, big tower. S the sequel is tiny tower, big square. It's where you're just a square and you immediately crush the tower and game over. Not as good. Not as good, honestly. <laughs> anyway. It's a neat game. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.